Are we, as an audience, growing weary of superheroes? It's a question that's been bouncing around the cinematic universe lately. With the steady stream of caped crusaders and masked vigilantes dominating our screens, one might wonder if we're reaching a saturation point. Superheroes are everywhere, from the silver screen to our streaming services, and there's no sign of them slowing down. So, are we truly fatigued? Or are we simply craving a different flavour from our caped crusaders? Critics have certainly had their say. They have been rather vocal about the saturation of superhero movies in the market. Noted critic Richard Brody of The New Yorker once remarked, The superhero genre has become a monotonous drumbeat in the cinema landscape. A sentiment echoed by Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian, who said, We are drowning in an ocean of superhero narratives. This fatigue, they argue, is due to the repetitive narratives and predictable plot lines. As A.O. Scott from the New York Times pointed out, the relentless onslaught of origin stories, sequels and team-ups can leave one feeling a bit jaded. However, this is not a unanimous opinion. There are critics who believe that superhero movies are still bursting with potential. In the words of Mark Hughes from Forbes, superhero films are not a genre, they are a medium. They can be anything from comedy to drama, from realistic to fantastical. There is room for all. Even more, some critics argue that superhero films have evolved, tackling more complex themes and pushing cinematic boundaries. As Helen O'Hara from Empire Magazine noted, they've matured, exploring themes of identity, morality and the human condition, all wrapped in a cape and cowl. In the end, it's a mixed bag of opinions. Some are weary, others are hopeful. The superhero genre, it seems, is as divisive among critics as it is beloved by fans. It seems the critics are divided, but what about the audience? What does the audience, the real judge of a film's success, have to say? There's a growing chorus from the audience, echoing the sentiment of superhero fatigue. It's simply overkill, says one viewer. With a new superhero movie coming out every other month, it's hard to keep up and even harder to stay interested. Another adds, They've all started to blur into one. The endless sequels, spin-offs and reboots are exhausting. I long for something fresh, something different. But let's not forget, there's still a significant portion of the audience that eagerly anticipates every new cape, mask and shield that graces the silver screen. There's something about the escapism and the spectacle of superhero movies that I can't get enough of, gushes a fan. Every new release is an event, a chance to dive into a different world. Another enthuses, Superhero movies are the modern-day mythologies. They're stories of hope, courage and resilience that resonate with me. So, we have two sides here. One, craving for novelty and originality, tired of the constant barrage of superhero films, and the other, still captivated by the larger-than-life characters and their epic world-saving adventures. This is not a simple case of black and white. There's a spectrum of views, a kaleidoscope of opinions, from those who are tired to those who cannot wait for the next instalment. The audience, it appears, is as divided as the critics. So, what can we conclude from all these perspectives? In our quest to understand if the audience is indeed suffering from superhero fatigue, we've heard from both the critics and the moviegoers themselves. The critics have made it clear that there's a certain degree of weariness creeping in, and they've pointed out the repetitiveness in storylines, the lack of depth in characters, and the over-reliance on spectacle over narrative substance. On the other hand, the audience's views paint a more nuanced picture. Sure, some express a growing tiredness of the same old caped crusaders saving the day, but there's also a significant number who are still thoroughly engaged, eagerly anticipating the next instalment of their favourite superhero saga. This issue is, it seems, far from black and white. It's a kaleidoscope of opinions and emotions, fueled by our individual tastes, preferences, and let's not forget our age-old fascination with the extraordinary. Yes, there may be an element of fatigue, but there is also an undeniable excitement that these larger-than-life figures continue to generate. What this tells us is that the superhero genre, like any other, needs to evolve, to reinvent itself to keep pace with an increasingly discerning audience. It's not so much about doing away with superheroes, but about finding fresh and innovative ways to tell their stories. In the end, perhaps the question isn't whether we're tired of superheroes, but rather what we want from them moving forward.